everyone, this is Eric B. Horn and welcome to another episode of the Eric B. Horn Pro Dev Experience where my goal is to give you the best career and business development advice to equip you to, to win in your life. And today's topic, it's how to properly connect with someone on LinkedIn. Now, LinkedIn is the premier platform for professionals. And a couple of reasons why people get on LinkedIn, one, to connect with other professionals, two, share information, and some even stir up business. Um, I am an advocate of LinkedIn and I do all three. And if you are not on LinkedIn, I highly recommend you get on LinkedIn. Some people really don't know how to properly connect with someone on this particular platform. Uh, LinkedIn is not Facebook, it's not Twitter, it's not Instagram, it's not Snapchat. It is a whole uh, world within itself. And there are certain unwritten rules and protocols that a lot of professionals don't follow when it comes to connecting. So what I wanted to do today is touch on the three things that I do um, anytime before I connect with a, a particular professional. I like to connect with people that I already know or individuals that have the same interests. There's a certain way to go about it when you're connecting with someone. This is all about relationships and anyone that is a professional, you want to be around people that you know, that you trust and you like. But I'm gonna tell you guys today are the three things that I do any and every time that I'm considering connecting with, with someone. My connections and my relationships are extremely important and I'm a big advocate on quality as opposed to quantity. I really don't care if you have 15,000 or 30,000 connections on your LinkedIn. That really doesn't mean anything to me. The biggest piece for me is, you know, how are you treating those relationships and how deep are those professional relationships? I like to set my relationships up where I care about the other person on the other end. And I use this analogy a lot. I like to create relationships where any event that if something would happen to me in two, two o'clock in the morning, if I call you, would you pick up the phone and would you help me the way I needed to, to, to be helped? You know, as opposed to just saying, hey, I have a large LinkedIn following when those relationships are really shallow. First thing that I do when I see someone that I want to connect with, I ask myself, why do I want to connect with this person ultimately? Are they a past or a present coworker? Uh, are they a part of uh, my college alumni? Or uh, do I wanna do business with them? In some instances, it's one of those things. And in other instances, it's all three. But I really need to be true to myself on why I wanna connect with this particular person. The second question that I ask myself is, how will I add value to this particular person? We're all in this on this world to, to help people and you want to help people as much as you can but at the same time you don't want to be used because as much as there are a lot of givers and people who want to help you succeed in your career you also have a lot of people that are takers or more worst off you have individuals that are going to do something for the sake of you owing them i'm really not a fan of that but there's a lot of people that i know that that's their main driver when it comes to connecting with people and building relationships for them and doing things for them let me do this for you and then you you owe me a favor. If I do something for you or help you out, I'm not looking for anything in return or I'm not gonna hold it over your head. However, in the event that I need help from you in some way, shape or form, I hope that you would, would do the same. And that always doesn't work out, but that's you know the, the true individual that, that I am. The third and final thing that I do when I want to connect with someone, I add a personalized message on why I want to connect with them and how I can hopefully add value to them. So I'm just taking the answers from the first two questions and I take that and summarize that in personalized message. You have a lot of people out here that are just shooting out connections to people and not utilizing the, the tool of creating a personalized message. Does it take a little bit longer? Yeah, it does. But you have to understand how the other person on the other end of who you're trying to connect with is going to perceive that overall invitation. Personalized message that you will add stating why you want to connect with them and how you can add value is extremely important because that sets everything up for the future interaction that you have with this particular person. As a bonus, 
future interactions, it's extremely important. Build a rapport with him or her, and then if you can, take the conversation off of LinkedIn. The main goal is to take it from online, which is the overall inception of the relationship or the connection, and transition that into a more face-to-face -face or more non-social media um, connection. And doing that, you have to have an understanding of how frequently you want to keep up with this person. Do not, and I repeat, do not flood their inbox or their messages or whatever have you. One golden rule is reach out to all of your connections at least once a quarter. And the reaching out perspective doesn't necessarily mean you have to send them an article or just, you know, send them something that's, that's tangible. The best way to follow up with someone is just to check in and see how they're doing and how their family is doing, how the project they're doing, how their job is. Anything that's near and dear to them, you want to include that in your messaging and be genuine about it. Check in with the individual once a quarter. So that's frequent enough where you can still stay on the person's radar, but you're not bombarding them. So as a recap, the three things that I do when it comes to connecting with someone via LinkedIn, number one, I ask myself, why do I want to connect with this particular person? Number two, how you can add value to this person's life. And number three, before you actually send the invitation, create a small personalized message that you can add to the invitation stating why you want to connect and how you can add value. And I'm a big component of quality as opposed to quantity. I don't even have 500 connection. I'm very strategic on why and the reason why I want to connect with people. And sometimes that reason is just because they're good people and I want to, you know, stay in contact with them. But whatever your reason is, take these three steps and, uh, you know, incorporate this now when the next time you want to uh, connect with somebody via LinkedIn. If you're listening to this podcast and you had any additional questions, comments, concerns, or other things that you, you do to properly connect with someone on LinkedIn, feel free to reach out to me via email. And my email address is info at ericbhorn.com. Once again, that is I-N-F-O at ericbhorn.com. And once again, that is info at ericbhorn.com. I hope this message served you well, and I'll talk to you soon.